welcome back to Talking Serpents. So today I'm going to be covering what different, uh, I have lots of different style of snake hooks. Uh, and right there. And uh, I always get a lot of uh, comments and messages about uh, what's the difference between each one, which one do I need, and then I'm just going to go into other various questions and uh, I will test them on uh, my own snakes and you can see how they work and uh, the differences and then uh, that way you can choose whether, um, what size you need or whether you even need a snake hook at all. So um, yeah, stay tuned, should be fun. As of right now, I have five snake hook variations that I sell on my website TalkingSerpents.com. Right now I have a 24 inch U style snake hook, 34 inch U style snake hook, a mini snake hook for smaller baby snakes, a 24 inch L style snake hook, and a 34 inch L style snake hook. So, the main differences that we can see right away is that these have a large U style snake hook tip. And over here, these have L tips. So there are differences. I like using the L tip. It's more of a general purpose. Uh, some people prefer to use just L tips and some prefer to use U tips. So that's only something that you can decide, but I will show you why I use uh, specific snake hooks for specific snakes. So the reason why I like using L style snake hook tips is because, well, let me take my hand. I'll find the largest part of his body that I can see. It looks about right here. Here's my hand for size reference. So obviously you can see that he's pretty girthy. And uh, let's take my standard U style snake hook tip for size reference. And uh, it really doesn't fit him so well. He would need um, an even larger snake hook tip. And that would mean every time the snake grows, because large constrictors are continuously growing until they finally reach um, their adult size, so you'd be buying a lot of snake hooks. So for me, it makes more sense to use an L-style snake hook tip with uh, large constrictors. And um, some people even use them on uh, medium-sized constrictors. They just prefer them. And uh, they work great. Um, so this way, uh, obviously, I used this style snake hook when he was um, even a smaller snake. Let's say he was about you know this big, and he still fit great in this snake. It wasn't uh, too big for him or anything like that. And when he got a little larger and a little larger, it still works great. And this snake hook will work for female um, large constrictors as well. So a female retic, female anaconda, it will work fantastic. Like I said, this one is 24 inches long, and this L-style snake hook is 34 inches long. There are uh, people who do like longer L-style snake hooks, because sometimes they have really defensive snakes, so it would give you more distance between you and the snake. You can also go uh, herping with this uh, snake hook. Yeah, they're, they're really good for like flipping over rocks and stumps, and uh, if you're ever out uh, herping, you're in the bushes, then you'd be able to flip over a bunch of rocks um, fairly easy, but um, I mean, I would say slightly easier than a U style, but uh, not too much. Like, I make my U styles uh, very, very strong, and you definitely go to flip rocks over as well. So, these definitely aren't um, cheap and going to bend on you. All right, well, we're not out in the, in the woods, but we're in my backyard. But I do have a rock out here for, for reference. So, let's just say you're out herping. You're in the bushes and you want to overturn a rock, a stump, or a piece of wood, and you're looking for um, some, maybe a snake. So you're going to obviously want to be able to turn that over safely. Nobody wants to do that with your hands, especially if you're looking for venomous snakes. So you can overturn rocks and stumps safely. And these are super tough. They're not going to bend on you, so you could do this over and over and over. And uh, yeah, works great. And you can even use it as a walking stick if you want. Why not? Well, I think that demonstrated how those snake hooks work. But uh, I think I'm going to take it to the next step and take out my reticulated python slip knot. And I will demonstrate how I would personally use the L-style snake hook on him. 
I got my reticulated python out. And uh, for this snake, I would use, I would personally use the 24 inch L style snake hook because uh, he's not a very defensive snake and as the snake hook length is a little bit shorter, you have a little bit more control. Um, so I would go, I'd find around the middle of his body and you can kind of gently scoop up on the snake. And uh, I definitely emphasize gently because if you've ever seen the anatomy of a snake, their skeleton has so many ribs going down the body. Uh, I don't even know how many <laughs> ribs, but it is an insane amount and they're delicate, so you definitely want to be very gentle. So give them the respect they deserve. But I will uh, demonstrate how easy this snake is. Snake hook is to use. We get it under there. And then uh, you can see where he's at, he still has room to grow. So even after he eats, um, I still have enough snake hook that uh, he definitely has quite a bit in diameter to grow before it's like too much. He's not like out to here or anything crazy. And even then, he would still be okay. So that's how this one works. But uh, personally, uh, I probably use a snake hook with him uh, possibly only once a year. But um, that doesn't mean I never needed one with him because a lot of people didn't know. And this might be actually really cool for you to know because you see such a sweet snake, especially if you follow me on Instagram. You know that this snake is extremely sweet. I like trust him more than I trust most people. Um, when he was a baby, I would say for the first uh, two months, he was really defensive. Uh, he had bitten me uh, multiple times and uh, he was always um, taken off uh, inside his enclosure. If I would open up the enclosure, he would immediately get all fired up and then take off all the way to the right side and get all wrapped up around something so I couldn't get him. And then, uh, yeah, he mellowed out and uh, now I really almost never need a snake hook with him. But uh, of course, it's better to have a tool than to not have it because uh, when you don't have it, guess what? It's not there, and uh, you're gonna wish you had it. So yeah, this this snake is very, very gentle, very trustworthy. If you didn't know, this snake is my favorite. I love reticulated pythons. They are definitely my favorite snake species. I could not deny that. Also, before I move on, I'm going to show you that, um, well, my, my boa constrictor, he's an adult male boa constrictor. Here's my hand for size reference for, uh, for a male boa constrictor. He's a good size, but at his current size, he could be using a U-style snake hook or an L-style. It's up to you, it's all about preference. Um, I'll show you what I mean. So, here is what it looks like. And this would cradle him absolutely perfectly. He's got a little wiggle room, and he'd be nice and uh, cradled in that snake hook. So this is my false water cobra bandit. Um, I do use a snake hook with him uh, every once in a while, because sometimes he does get in a mood, and uh, he can be a little more uh, unpredictable. So, um, when I do use a snake hook, it is a U-style snake hook, so I usually use the 34 inch L style snake, er, U style snake hook, excuse me. And uh, if you're wondering what the difference, in, the difference between the 34 inch U style and the 24 inch, well, it's just the length, that's it. The same snake hook tips. Um, if you want a little bit more distance between you and that defensive animal, or uh, that venomous animal, um, whatever the, uh, the case may be, or maybe even use uh, this as um, something to go herping with and you want to you know pick up stumps and um, rocks and whatever have you then obviously you want a longer snake hook because you don't want to be uh, hunched over with a shorter snake hook I'm sure your back hurt at the end of that day yeah it's all about preference but uh, yeah I would definitely use a, a U style snake hook with this snake and uh, yeah it works great because his the girth of his body is much smaller so it gets cradled very nicely. Right, buddy?
I have out my false water cobra. Uh, I'll put him down to demonstrate how I would use this snake egg on him. He's definitely um, a much faster snake than uh, most other snakes. Uh, there he is, peekaboo. So I'll put him down and then I'll show you how I would use a snake hook. Uh, it's probably not gonna be easy because uh, I'm single-handed right now since uh, I'll have a snake hook in one hand and a camera in the other, but uh, I'll improvise and I'll make it work. Let's put him on the ground and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm gonna be using a U-style snake hook. This is gonna be the 34 inch U-style snake hook. And I would just go underneath the body and for him, I would tail the snake. Tailing is kind of holding up the last bit, not the tip of the tail or anything. And uh, yeah, if you wanted to pull the snake, you just go gently underneath the snake. And pull him in the direction you want. The head is in that direction. So if you're worried about getting bit, you want to stay away. And you could gently move the snake around. And keep your distance if uh, the snake is really defensive or uh, Depending on your situation, it's always going to be different. I don't want you going over there, sir. Pull them away. So we'll let him go that way, and I will show you how I put him back. Alright, so this is how I got him. Hook him at the front half of the body. And I'll let him just slither back on into his enclosure. Even though he'll probably want to come back out in like two seconds. How's it going, buddy? No? You're over it? Alright. Well, see you later, sir. So in this room, I don't use snake hooks too often, but uh, like I said, I definitely do every now and again, and I'm definitely thankful that I have an assortment of snake hooks, because uh, I you know, consider them as tools uh, in this hobby, so I definitely need them. So, uh, I'd assume everybody else would need them uh, every now and again as well. So, but, yeah, if you have venomous snakes, then it's an absolute necessity. So, uh, let's go over into the next room, and I will bring out my little blue speckled rattlesnake. Grab my trusty snake hook, and let's go on in the next room. So this is where I keep my venomous snakes. I have two rattlesnakes. Down here is the blue speckled rattlesnake that I will be pulling out. And then up above here I have an albino western diamondback rattlesnake. But I fed him last night so I won't be taking him out. The blue speckled rattlesnake is right there. So I'll be using the hook to take off the bushes and then I will be taking out the speckled rattlesnake uh, after. Oh, also, all the snake hooks that I offer come with different color grip options. So I have red, green, orange, dark blue, purple, yellow, pink, light blue, and of course, lots of black grips. And uh, oh, in the newest edition, I have a couple white grips. So if anybody's into that, I have that as well. Now to the fun part. Yeah, he's right, right there. So I'll be taking the push out first. There we go. Okay, he's a tiny little guy. So, like I said, gently go in, scoop up the snake. And then we'll set him right there. And if uh, you hear any AC noises, well, it's because this room is air conditioned. Uh, hopefully the uh, noise isn't uh, too loud or bothersome. Sometimes you can even trick the snake to even go in on the snake hook by himself. So I'll lay it there and we'll see if he crawls onto it. Ah, fell right into my trap. <laughs> so just like that, and that's how I use the mini style snake hook. Of course, this can be used for any baby snake. Uh, you've got a corn snake, a king snake, any kind of baby snake. This should work perfectly. It's super lightweight and uh, yeah, works fantastic.
That's the reason why it's my favorite. Oh, there he goes. He's afraid of the camera. I didn't think he'd be camera shy. Apparently he is. Sometimes it's good practice to use your snake hook grip to shut the glass. Obviously you have grip on the end, so you can open the glass. Sometimes snakes will come shooting out and you want to be safe. You don't want to be using your hands. Obviously you can have your hand back here, but sometimes people go like this and uh, there was an angry snake or yeah, angry snake, sure, defensive snake, was waiting for you, you wouldn't want that. So you open and close with the grip, so those work great. Also, something that I should mention, that all of the snake hooks that you saw me use in this video are all on my website, TalkingSerpents.com. So if you are interested, there will be a link down in the description of this video. So if you wanna simply click on that, and then I'll take you to my website, and then you can check, check out all the different of variations of snake hook that I offer. All right, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, hopefully I answer all your questions. If not, please leave me a comment. I love chatting with everybody anyways. And uh, hopefully, uh, even if you knew a lot about snake hooks and you use snake hooks yourself, uh, hopefully it was just an entertaining video in general. Um, so yeah, if you liked the video, strike that like button. If you have any comments, please post in the comment section below. Please do subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.